There are so many demands to being a designer, particularly preparing for Fashion Week. The pursuit of balance and clarity is how I hold it together. Take this journey with me the week before my presentation. It is the biggest time of fashion in terms of showcasing your collection, putting it out there for the fashion community. To get your collection to the point that you're ready to show at Fashion Week, there's so much that has to be done. The week before our spring presentation, before Fashion Week, and um, I have a million things to do, but I love the car ride, even though it's short, because it just gives me a chance to really think about what needs to be done and the order that things need to be done. So the fittings are uh, this morning for the spring show and we just have a few days left. So today is really working with Tina, my stylist, on what is the story going to be and you don't know that until you just start playing and experimenting and putting clothes on a model. was kind of inspired from this movie called The Lover and it takes place in the 1930s. And what I liked about the film, what I, what I thought was fresh about the film for Spring 12 is the idea of this um, very youthful feminine woman wearing masculine clothes, so actually wearing her lover's clothes. I think the thing about how to manage time when you're in the position, which is an amazing position to be in, of running your own company, also being the creative head of that company and needing to spearhead um, design and the thought process behind the designs and the form of the designs. Things like that definitely get pushed to the background. And so those things either happen on the weekends, they happen late night. I mean, there's honestly not enough hours in the day. Again, I'm just feeling like there is a weakness in just the width. Do you There's, prefer the dress? No problem. That's yeah. it. Okay, so that All hopefully right. we'll, we're good on. I'll look at that. So then what I'd like for you guys to do is think about what silhouettes and we can cut out of that fabric. What do you think we're missing? So right now I'm gonna work on a piece for the show with Rosa, who is my pattern maker. Just right. a little, right. a little she nuance, right. because that masculine aspect really does need to come through in all of the showpieces and all of the gowns. It's a crazy week. We are working in looks, uh, so we are reworking the whole collection and changing details, creating like some amazing outfit for the presentation. I think that when you work on something that you love so much, you never really get to the point where you are satisfied. And what I mean by that is, of course, you love what you're working on and you love what you do, but there's always so much more that you know you could do. Today we are at Lincoln Center and we are scouting locations for our spring 2012 show. We have the option of indoor or outdoor at Lincoln Center. It is a presentation. I don't want to go head to head with the city. I want to enjoy the city. We're outside. It's okay. It's not, do you know what I mean? Like, let's use the best qualities from what we're doing here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, we're knocking this out, people. We're knocking it out. We're knocking it Almost out. done. Right now, I'm getting ready for an event and I'm waiting for my marketing team to come into a meeting but they're used to me getting ready, sometimes in between meetings. The invite is done yeah, for the show. We'd love to be asked back over and over and over. So in this case, bad cop is like super nice cop. Let's see if Christina took anything else at all inside the Women's Center. Okay. And they want us to record you doing a short video of what giving means to you. Okay, great. How am I doing on time, Sarah? I have two more. 
It's all good. They were still here. So I, I love her. her. And sneak it up. Yep. So that's great. Um, good. Thank you for adding that. So where did you get with that list of everything we need to do? Here is the schedule for Project Runway tomorrow. Call time to Oh, good. Let's see. When I get dressed and have to rush out of here to make like a 7.30 dinner, part of me has so much guilt leaving my staff behind. You know, I'm all done up. I get to wear my beautiful samples while they're still here working. Um, it's kind of like being a mom. that only the males get their own seat. Yeah. This is not the kind of company that I run. I got my VIP of everything in the back seat, scrunched up by the Lewis Calvert and Carson. And I'm rolling up illegally. <laughs> rolling up with my team of she-gets. As long as you're with your friends, and as long as you're with people that you thoroughly, truly like and enjoy and respect, and are just good people, you can have fun wherever you go. No, honestly, we're, we're riding up to the event this way because we're exhausted. There was an extraordinary amount of things that needed to be planned today, including fashion show. Um, and apparently we just didn't order a car. myself as a quote-unquote designer. I see myself um, like any other woman out there working really hard to provide for her children, um, working really hard on my dream and giving it my all. And anything that I do, I do very, very passionately, but I have so much that um, that I want to do and I have so much that that, that motivates me and pushes me. Um, one of those being giving other women a voice and speaking for women that don't, that don't have the opportunity to speak for themselves. And until I can do that, I won't feel that I've even started to touch what my destiny is. There are so many changes to samples. There are so many fittings. There's constant tweaks up until the last moment that the garment is walking out on the model to the runway to the presentation. Hi, so let's see where we're at with our gown. You know, the thing about, the thing about our gowns, they're the most intricate and we leave them till the last minute every single time because we enjoy being stressed out, I guess. If I had to get rid of two, which, which two would you get rid of? This is just, just to be of the You need color. color. Yeah. Okay. Helpful. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> I appreciate it. Casting can make um, your clothes go from average to outstanding. Yeah. Wow, the back is really beautiful. Can you walk, please? This is gorgeous. Two, three, four, five, six. So we only have to get rid of one. I really like that the color story works yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Better. Yeah. Definitely. So 
starting to really like make sense as a story. I feel, I feel good about it. I'm so frustrated right now. I, I don't even know how to form a sentence properly. So yesterday, one of my employees left hours before they were supposed to. And there was so much work that was left to be done, but I was in the middle of a different meeting and didn't realize it. You know, go home, whatever time I, I get home after I'm done working with Daniela. Put the girls to bed and probably get to bed around 1 or 1.30. And then I wake up at 4 so that I can finish the work from yesterday. And then I taped all day today. And in the middle of taping, um, there were different budgets that weren't getting approved. So from the filming, now I have half an hour to check the day's emails. I'm not a big fan of emails. I prefer picking up the phone because particularly when there's a problem, no one really wants to tell me when something can't go the way that I um, foresee it for the company. But I think overall I'm just physically exhausted. You know, if I'm requiring people to work as hard as I do, then I need to also give them the best of me. So much better, done and done. Orange that it was, thank you. So those shoes are way too big. What size are they? Way too big. We are going to pick makeup. Um, Bobby Brown is an artist that I've worked with from the very beginning. There's not a show that um, I've done without Bobby. I love the direction of the makeup, yeah. and our girls will look beautiful, and she looks beautiful, but do you think that there's a story? I'm sure. Like, what's going to be what new? I don't know what it is yet either. Well, Here's what I'm... thing is like the pinky rosy. It's like a rosy gold on the eyes. Like, no one wears those colors. Is that what that is? Yeah. Our, yeah, and our season is... Well, the collection that I drew from is the rose gold. I love rose gold. It's yeah. my literally look. It's my favorite color oh, gold. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, you too. Oh, the so story. we have that in common. Yeah. See, all we have to do is stop for two seconds. Bye. I'm going home. Today's one of the craziest nights because we have makeup going on, we have nails going on, we have a sales meeting going on, and we have Rachel going on. So it's like the perfect storm right before the show. We have to have the right price value relationship, so we're really looking at the costing that we're receiving on these garments and making sure that there's margin built in and that there's a business here too. So there's the art and the science right now. This is kind of the point where you really have to make an effort at keeping the energy level up. Everyone's exhausted. Everyone is trying their best. These are the moments that it's absolutely exhausting. Morning. I just got up. I am starting my day. We have just literally what feels like minutes until my spring fashion show. My president actually slept in the office last night, so the fact that I'm in bed, I feel really guilty about but um you know fashion week's crazy and there's just so much work in such a short period of time so I'm gonna go see my girls and spend some time with them the morning the morning time is really kind of my time alone with them and if I don't take this time no matter how busy I am I feel like I will never get the proper amount of time with them you have to have time for your family. And in my case, I have two little girls that need me. It's, it's constantly wondering if I'm giving them enough, if I'm giving them enough of the best of me. Nice clip for you. Should we do flowers or bows? Flowers. Oh. Bows, okay. So pretty. Whenever I get really close to the actual show, there's something odd that happens where all of the kind of energy of rushing these past few weeks um, just kind of changes into it's here and I can't wait to show it. And the day before is always this little balance of a million things that go wrong and out of those million things, some of them are actually amazing accidents. 
I think that she should just graze the floor and not be a full length gown. No train, yes. no nothing. So you think that we have enough sewers to get through yes. everything we have to get through? Yes. Do you need a coffee too? I need espresso. <laughs> I need an espresso. That's exactly what I need. And we're just going to have to ask them to stay, but that's fine. Yeah. It's just so important to the, to the show. So it's the night before and we still have clothes that are being sewn. It is what it is. I don't think I know anyone, um, any of my, my friends in design that don't go through the same thing. Ted has cut my hair for years and I trust him thoroughly with his point of view on what's new in fashion and what's effortless and he is really the only person that understands fully the idea that you want to be feminine but you still want to be fresh and new. The nail polish I'm actually wearing because as the clothes I have to test everything. Um, at first I wanted a nude that was um, kind of transparent but as we started playing with the color a little bit of terracotta felt more uh, modern. Pretty much the day of the show is all press for me. Right up until 10.30, I'll be able to check the looks, I'll be able to check the hair and the makeup, but the moment we open the doors, it's press nonstop. It's so crazy for my salespeople because they have to manage the show in terms of getting all their buyers in and showing them around. But then market opens for two weeks and we only have one sample collection, which means they have to get the samples back ASAP and get them in the showroom, get them steamed. If there's any makeup on them, get them cleaned and start selling. So I can't wait for spring to be done. I can't wait for the show to be done. Um, and I can't wait to go to sleep because I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. I want to check the looks first, mm -hmm. then hear the makeup. Ready. And that's, that's the best feeling that, that anyone can have at this point. Rachel Roy is really one of the most exciting, celebrated, and new brands um, that to some extent really symbolizes the next chapter of growth for the entire company. I've always thought that fashion shows are meant to inspire. Just to be a part of uh, an industry that inspires, I'm thrilled with but to get it to the point that it needs to be is, it's challenging. And it, it's my name and it's something that I care about so much because there's nothing else that I've ever wanted to do for a living.